I was asked to come to town hall a few weeks ago. I didn't know I was going to be asked to speak. I thought I was coming there for support. So I went there with that in mind. I'm coming to support the Snoqualmie people who are trying to preserve the Snoqualmie Falls. And then when I got there, the young woman who had invited me to come said, I'll introduce you to the other speakers. I, well, the other speaker? She said, yes, you're, you're, you are our first speaker. I said, all right. So quickly, I searched my mind, what am I going to say as the first speaker? Oh, good grief. But well, I'm not prepared to speak. So what, what can I talk about? So I thought, okay, okay, okay. I came here to be support for something that is important to preserve Snoqualmie Falls. So what can I do that will relate to that? And there was a man who was one of the speakers who was the author of the book, and the title of his book was Sacred Lands of the Indians of America. I looked at the title of that book, I, oh, there's where I start. I'm going to correct this man right now, right now. I said, correction, correction. We're here to hear from the author of a book that I have just looked at, Sacred Lands of the Indians of America. I said, we are not Indians of the area. We are the first people of this land. We did not come from India. We did not come from India. We are the first people of this land. And that leads me to tell you how I know that we are the first people of this land. Our legends tell us that. Our legends tell us why we are the first people of this land. We were put here in our legend in a very beautiful way, from the marriage of a star person and an earth person, a union of the star person and the earth person gave us our beginning. And then our historians, who were our storytellers, told us what happened after this took place. And then we honored the land that, that we had been given to take care of. And then when very compassionate spiritual people could see that there were people coming here who were leaving lands that they were finding impossible to live on and could no longer tolerate the things that were being taught that land, they had to leave it, and they came to my country to find a better place to live. And then when they got here, they listened to the spirituality of our people, they couldn't understand it. Because they couldn't understand the spirituality, they then said, we don't understand what you are practicing, so you better stop doing what you're doing. We have something that we can teach you. Then they couldn't understand the language that the people were talking, and they said, we can't understand what you are saying, so you better not speak that language anymore because we can't understand you. We'll teach you our language, then we'll be able to understand you. So don't speak your language, speak our language. Don't practice your spiritual ways, practice ours. And my mind says, the people who came here and were given compassionate space to share did this to us. They left land where they were unhappy, and they came here bring their garbage over here so that they could teach us how to live in a land that was already a very happy, beautiful, honored land with the spirit that knew how to honor the spirits, with the language that knew how to reflect the teachings of the land, and they wanted to come and change all the... I don't understand. Does this make sense to anybody that we allow anybody to come from a, a land that's 
not suitable for them to live in, then they come and try to teach us how to live their way. Well, that's what they left because they were dissatisfied with it. They were unhappy with it. Does that make sense to anybody? Why should we do that? And some very wise people are just now beginning to get the message. Uh Uh-oh, we better listen to the first people of the land. They have important things to teach us. So this is what some very wise people are trying to do now, trying to learn from the first people of this land who are not Indians. They are the first people. They didn't come from India. We've always been here. (laughs) Hoyach.